Indeed, uh, as I mentioned, the directive contains these two TDM exceptions in Articles 3 and 4. Less important, as you also mentioned, Article 3 provides an exception for acts of TDM for the purposes of scientific research by research organizations and cultural heritage institutions and regarding works that they have lawful access to and a number of additional conditions. More importantly for our purposes is Article 4 that sets forth an exception for reproductions and extractions of lawfully accessed works and subject matter for the purposes of TDM. So this is different from Article 3, which is limited to scientific research purposes by certain entities. Now, this is the way it's generally accepted in the, within the legal community of com commentators, at least, is that if you carry out TDM activities under Article 4, such activities may be for commercial purposes or in the commercial context. So I think this would be the exception that would likely cover, if at all, the training activities for the development of generative AI tools currently on the market. So ChatGPT, Stable Diffusion, MidJourney, etc. However, you still have to comply with the remaining requirements of Article 4, including lawful access, possibility of reservation by rights holders, and then there's some general requirements about contractual derogation, the three-step test, and the protection of technological protection measures. Overall, these conditions are more burdensome than those that apply for TDM for scientific purposes, which makes, makes sense. Now, one condition before we go to the opt-out that has not received much attention is related to this lawful access requirement. So from my personal standpoint, there is not enough clarity on whether web scraping or web harvesting activities of Gen AI developers meet this requirement, or even how the Court of Justice in Europe would apply this requirement to commercial providers, especially because in other areas of the case law, the court has tended to put additional duties on commercial players as regards material available online, for example, in the hyperlinking case law. Now, much more discussed has been indeed the fact that Article 4 is subject to a reservation by rights holders, including through, now I'm quoting, machine readable means in the case of content made publicly available online. And this would be include use of metadata in terms of condition and conditions of a website or service. Now, this possibility of reservation is what's usually called the opt-out, although it might not be the most accurate term. So in my view, the AI Act provisions aiming at additional transparency, documentation, and publicity of information on training materials protected by copyright would be crucial to enable, first, that rights reservation by rights holders can take place, and second, perhaps as important, to check whether such reservation was adequate, adequately carried out by the Gen AI providers or developers in this case. 